Dear 2017, you have brought this shit to a whole different level, because now I'm struggling to say that we still share the same humanity. Do I even still believe that I must care for my enemies as fellow members of the human race? I don't know, because it is inhuman to dehumanize others. Right now, this dehumanization is at the forefront of our minds, 2017. We see that this world is full of crazy stuff, like telling hundreds of thousands of immigrants to leave their homes crazy stuff, like actual Nazis actually marching openly in the streets of an actual American town crazy stuff like the president of this country being proudly supported by actual Nazis and KKK members crazy stuff because this threat is not general. It is not far off. There's this crazy stuff happening right here at home in Roanoke 20 minutes from here. There's a white nationalist WTM Enterprises headquarters in Auburn 30 minutes from here, there's a KKK chapter. In Warsaw, 50 minutes from here, there's a neo-Nazi headquarters. Just a few months ago, 2017, a black family was driven out of New Haven, Indiana, when at 15 years old, their son Jason Gardner was beaten unconscious by white supremacists who left decomposed animal remains on the porch of Jason's family's home. This crazy stuff was done to dehumanize our friends and family, and it's so easy to feel powerless over it. We are so tired, so exhausted mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. We are distraught and feel powerless, powerless, so tired, so tired, but we must not succumb to feeling powerless because even as overwhelming and despicable as this crazy stuff is, we are not powerless over it. Punch a Nazi, we say, and it sounds enticing because it shatters their illusion of intouchable power. And we are not powerless. We have power, and there are many things to do. Educate yourself, your friends, your family. Protest publicly. We're glad you're here. Take care of yourself and your neighbors. Write and call your elected officials because it works. Donate time and money to your causes. Listen to the voices of those who are oppressed and follow their lead. Thank your gods that one day this shit will die down. And please, when it does, don't stop fighting because the evil threads of implicit racism and anti-Semitic biases are woven tightly into the fabric of our society. They thrive in the darkness where they usually exist, so when they are no longer in the light, do not stop fighting right now, 2017. Speak out against oppressors who so you don't yourself become one. Right now, 2017, remaining neutral is choosing a side, choosing to allow space in the air for white supremacist volume. So if you never cared before, start caring now. If you never spoke out before, speak out now, 2017. Speak out now because people are listening and you are not powerless.